In this video, I'm going to quickly discuss the differences between SIRS, sepsis, severe sepsis, and septic shock. So let's get straight into it. SIRS is defined as having two or more of the following, a temperature greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or less than 96.8 Fahrenheit, a respiratory rate greater than 20, a heart rate greater than 90, white blood cells greater than 12,000 or less than 4,000, or 10% bands, and then a PCO2 less than 32. So if you have two or more of the following, you have met criteria for SIRS. Now we compare this with sepsis, which is having two plus SIRS criteria, so two or more of the criteria we just discussed, plus a confirmed or suspected infection. So if you have a confirmed or suspected infection, this patient is now considered septic. And we can compare sepsis with severe sepsis. In severe sepsis, you have sepsis with signs of end organ damage or hypotension, where your systolic blood pressure is less than 90, or a lactate greater than 4. So you need to have sepsis, and then you need to have one of the three following uh, things. So the end organ damage, hypotension, or lactate. And so for septic shock, this is when you have sepsis and hypotension, uh, again, systolic blood pressure less than 90, but you continue to have that hypotension despite adequate fluid replacement. So the patient is receiving fluids, but their hypotension is not improving. Uh, this is when you have septic shock. And this is a nice little table with all the criteria you need to know, and hopefully you find it helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks.